Just about 16 minutes after 8, the San Mateo Board of Supervisors passed a resolution this week calling for requiring coroners and medical examiners to tell family members when they plan to retain parts of a body after an autopsy. This all came about when Selena Picone of Daly City learned after the death and burial of her 23-year-old son Nicholas that his heart had been kept by the coroner for further study. Selena joins us this morning along with San Mateo County Supervisor Adrian Tissier. Nice to have you both here. Thank you. Thank you. When did your son die, Selena? He died October 25th, 2006. And what was the cause of death? Uh, the next day, the coroner told me that he had passed away from a heart defect called intramural tunneling mm -hmm. of the artery. Yeah. When did you learn that his heart was not with him when he was buried? 20 days after burial. What was your, how did you find out? I, I was feeling sorry for myself and I started searching the internet to see if other pe how other people cope with their child's death. And I went into this site called uh, Funeral and Death, I think it was, I don't remember. But in there, it, there was this mother who said she was going to sue the coroner because she found out that he had kept some of her daughter's organs. Um, at that moment, I, I felt like my whole world caved in, and I immediately called them. And I would say, after talking to the receptionist, and then uh, it took them a good almost 45 minutes to, for them to say, yes, we have, we and, have it. And, and the, the reason why is they, they wanted to study it further because of... The cause no, of death. no, that was not what he told me. He told me at, when I first asked him, he said, "Well, I think we put it back," and I says, mm. "You think or you did?" And he says, "Well, I I don't know." He goes, "I think." He goes, "Because I'm not sure." He goes, uh, "Dr. Benson, who was the medical examiner, he he told me that he wanted to uh, study study it further." And I, so I said, "Well, does he have it?" Or or and so. He finally uh, told me that, no, that uh, they didn't have to uh, send it back to Stanford because they already knew what my son had passed away yeah. from. Just the emotional pain you went through, mixed with the anger over this whole thing. Yes. And you, So you turn to the Board of Supervisors, and that's kind of where you come in, Supervisor. Uh, what's the law as it stands now regarding uh, body organs? Well, the coroner has broad authority to investigate at the time of a death and obviously from his perspective that's what they did when Selena came to me I have to tell you I was shocked the fact that we the public has been left in the dark the fact that families don't know that their child or their loved ones organs have been taken if Selena had known or other people had known they could have held off on having a burial yeah. and, and so yesterday what the resolution called for is a rethinking of this law is this a state law, correct? Well, we're initiating state law, but we also have already informally initiated it here at the county. Right now, we are notifying next of kin since this happened. It will be formalized in a couple weeks, but we have a broad authority on the Board of Supervisors to make necessary changes, and we're absolutely going to make changes. So as, it, as the law stands now, if they want to use these organs for further study or whatever, what happens when they're through with them? Do they then let the families know? And, and they can they have then bury the organs? They haven't or? been. They haven't been. And that's one of the things. We're going to investigate what happened in this situation and what happened in past situations and make sure we make change so that families are notified. First off, they're notified immediately. Then they'll know that those organs are there, and they can also have a choice in whether they get them back. So we have a lot of work ahead of us to do, and it's thanks to Selena for stepping forward because the public would never know this. And, uh, and I would think there are a lot of families because of religious beliefs or whatever, they're against cremation or whatever, would be... Um, I am one of this them. This could crush them. And so yes. you, you are of a belief. Of, I, what is your belief? We, I am a Christian, and I believe that my child, or we shouldn't get cremated, and that we should be buried whole, even though I was a little more, I was thinking of being a, a donor if they wanted anything yeah. of mine. And, uh, but now I, I don't want to be a donor. The fact that they violated my son, I, I just decided that there's no way that I would allow any part of me to go out. The, the fact that the Board of Supervisors made this vote yesterday this to, to look into the state law, does that give you some comfort, some 
feeling of closure at all? No, yeah. absolutely not. Especially because of, I feel that the, the coroners are not being truthful. They said that they told, they told, uh, they said that uh, um, everything is in the auto autopsy report. I had been asking for that autopsy report from the beginning, and they never gave it to me. And uh, after I got the heart on November 21st, uh, I got the aut autopsy report November 27th, and that was because I was calling every single day. And I kept saying, I want that autopsy report. The day that I asked for the heart, if they had any organs of my son, that same day I told them that I wanted the autopsy report. I never got it until there, the 27th. There got to be a lot of people who are real glad that you're very assertive on this because it's, it's brought out a problem we weren't aware of. We're yeah. sorry you're going through this, but thanks yes. for coming in and talking with us Thank this you. morning. Thank you, Selena. Thank you. Thank you, Supervisor. Thank you. Time now is... Uh,